So I got a new car, if you couldn't tell. But the problem is, I don't have a place for it. Hello. How am I, this is not conducive to vlogging. I'm gonna have to get like a real tripod set up. Let's see if we can get this configuration to stay up for the time being. Um, yeah, I got a different car, SUV still. And there's not a proper place for my camera, which is honestly rude. I should have considered that before purchasing. But yeah, I just stopped at Dunkin'. Got a nice little coffee. I don't do cool, fun things, but my order is just a small, hot cappuccino. And either two sugars or one Splenda, depending on, you know, if you're an artificial sugar kind of gal. But it's just perfection. Ugh. I mean, just, I feel like Starbucks really just has terrible hot coffee. Does anyone else agree with me? I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying the wrong things. But we're back. Back for another vlog. Um, Chef Steph is not making an appearance in today's video. I could just, I could just tell by my mood and my energy I'm not, I'm not there today. She's not in it to win it. She's not here today, but, um, she'll be back soon. But anyways, I got a bunch of non-alcoholic wines that I want to test out for you guys. I have one that I could like and recommend, but I wanted to try a few others. I originally ordered them to have to bring to Thanksgiving, but it didn't come in time. So I figured let's do it now before the holidays or like, you know, Christmas and Christmas parties, all that. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I have one other that you guys recommended me. It's not actually a wine. It's like a sparkling something that you can get at Target. So I'm going to see if my Target has it and then we'll go home and we'll test everything out because I'm just on the hunt because I miss my wine. Like one of the number one things I don't like about being pregnant is like not being able to have my wine with dinner. You know what I'm saying? So let's go to Target. Let's see what else we can find. It's literally in the name, Target. It's not tar do not get, it's Target. That shit you don't need and put it in your car and bring it home with you. And probably don't return it even if you don't like it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm home and I managed to only get like one other thing. Um, I don't know if this is the sparkling rosé that one of my, one of you guys like recommended to me. You guys have like a cute pink bottle, but we'll try it. I also got this, which sounded kind of like holiday-ish. Um, they only had the Sprite Zero version, but it's winter spiced cranberry. Um, obviously you know, probably get the non-zero version, but I have, you know, a Diet Coke every now and then, so whatever. This is not something I'm gonna be chugging daily, so don't, don't judge me. Um, and then I actually got a pair of slippers. I have these slippers in like the sandal version and I saw that they had like a full size or like a full footed version and I decided to get these. They're so nice, they have memory foam, but I totally forgot that I had ordered these from Walmart and they just came in the mail. So they're like supposed to be similar to the UGG platform minis. Super cute. I would say these are not as like good quality as these. I mean, it says it's memory foam. I'll have to try them on and let you guys know, but you can never have enough slippers. I feel like there's always one under a bed, under a couch. You just need multiple pairs, you know? So got that. And this, this is my little fanny pack. I've been obsessed with this. This is from Walmart, you guys. I posted this on my Instagram the other day and a bunch of you guys bought it. So hopefully it's not sold out, but I love this. It's pretty good size. Um, I would say it's like almost like a foot long and it just has two compartments. You can actually fit a lot of stuff in here. Like whatever I had in my, oh, here we have my light of fragrance, light of fragrance. Oh, something dirty on the counter. Um, everything that I had in my Chanel bag fits in here and more. So there's a Lululemon fanny pack that I like, but it's so tiny. Um, I, I just couldn't justify the price. So this was like $15 or something. But yeah, I'm going to take down my messy bun. And I think I'm going to change out of this puffer sweatshirt combination i just feel like when i'm doing a wine tasting i should be more classy i'm gonna class it up and put on a nice cozy sweater so brb and then we're gonna get to tasting who this boy <laughs> who 
just got a haircut. A nice fresh blowout. Look at you. Uh, who's coming? Who is this? Merp, Desiree. And the queen? Des, she can be the queen. You don't need to be a hog. What are you gonna do when there's a baby? Who's gonna be the best with the baby, you think? David, Rose, or Des? I think Rose, absolutely. She's the mama bear. This one's psychotic. And this one is just large. Like you're a big, goofy horse of a boy. Hush. My chandelier is giving me some weird type of shadow, so excuse that, but let's get the show on the road. The wine tasting and testing. I have four here plus that Welch's sparkling, which I don't know if you could really consider that. I mean, none of these are technically wine. They're all grape juice, so I don't know why I'm shading Welch's like that. I'm sorry. Uh, but before we begin, I wanted to pose a question because I am always interested to know this, but I feel like there's two types of drinkers in the world. One is the person who likes to drink so they can get drunk and, you know, you know, party, bleh, whatever. Okay. Or there's a person who likes to drink because they like the taste of alcohol. So... Especially being pregnant, I have really just learned that I love the taste of a good glass of alcohol, <laughs> uh, particularly wine. So I don't miss really the getting drunk part. I never really drink to get drunk. I like the like one glass buzz, but I really don't ever need to be wasted. Like that's not something that I aspire to do, but because I like how things taste, then we have multiple, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love a dirty martini because I love how it tastes. It's exquisite. I love a good spicy margarita because I love how it tastes. I love a good glass of wine because it goes so nicely with my food. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like the people who only drink to get, you know, effed up don't like the taste of alcohol. I don't know. I don't know if the two are exclusive. But let me know your thoughts. I would love to know. Um, but that being said, Rose, do you want to contribute? She's under my feet. So we're going to begin with this one here. So I will say I have tried their white wine. It's their Pinot Grigio. I tried the Pinot Grigio and the Sauvignon Blanc. The Sauvignon Blanc, disgust. It was so sour. The Pinot Grigio, I could get down with. A little bit sweet for me, but I could get down with it. And I drank it during the summer just to kind of give me that vibe. When I was pregnant in the summer... Um, it was still very early on for me. Yeah, I found out in like mid-July, so that's like my summertime wine situation. So the brand is called Jason, and this is their 0% de-alcoholized wine. So I did want to also say that um, some wines have like a very, very small trace of alcohol, I guess, when they like remove it or whatever, but... Um, I also have read that like fruit and bread have small traces of alcohol in them also and nobody's running around being like, oh my god, don't eat that fruit or that slice of bread. Anyways, uh, this is the Jason De-Alcoholized Premium Red. For reference, if you're new here, I really love like a dry red wine. I don't like sweet wines at all, so keep that in mind. My fave is probably like a Cabernet. Um, I also like Zinfandel, so... We have the Jason Premium Red. It doesn't really say anything about it on the bottle. Um, if there's a description on the website, I'll just put the text here, but there's nothing on the bottle that says like notes of cherry or notes of berry. We're just gonna do a little splash. We're gonna keep it classy. We're gonna let her air out a bit. And we're gonna hope for the best. Now the bottle, it has a big fat zero on the front, so if you're trying to disguise the fact that it's non-alcoholic, this isn't really gonna do it for you because it's like, oh my god, zero. Okay, swisheroo. I'm not very classy in the wine department. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing. All right. I am bad. Like, I'm not, I'm not angry at this. I've tried some. Um, I know, 
I can't even think of what it was. It was like Frey or something, but it was so sweet. And it's not like it tasted extremely bad, but it tasted nothing like wine. This actually tastes like it could be like a, not such a full bodied wine, but has a little bit of dryness at the, at the end. I, I appreciate that. This would be good with a nice steak or like a red sauce. I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at Jason's Premium Red from New Zealand. One point for New Zealand. So let's move on. This is the Wander and Found Pinot Noir. So this on the back, it does have a description. It says reminiscent of the Napa vibe. This premium non-alcoholic Pinot Noir is complex and satisfying, clean and fresh with notes of cherry and currant. I don't have high hopes for this because I don't like Pinot Noir. Um, I must not have saw that when I was looking at this online, but since it doesn't have alcohol, maybe, maybe I will enjoy it without the alcohol because I have yet to find a Pinot Noir. They just taste like blood to me. Is that gross? Yeah, probably. Every time I see a Pinot Noir, it just looks like cranberry juice to me. Like it's not like that deep, rich red that I like. But again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on it just yet after I just hated on it pretty hard. Okay, let's do it. it. Smells very fruity. It smells good though, but like, not like I wanna drink it. Okay. It doesn't taste as fruity as it smells. It's missing the dryness that the previous one had, but that being said, a Pinot Noir is typically not super dry. I think if you liked Pinot Noir, you would probably like this. I don't hate this. Um, it doesn't have that dryness that I like in red wine, but this is not offensive to me at all. Like I'm not gagging, so that is good. Wander and found. I think the fact that it doesn't have that dryness to it makes it feel more juicy than whiny, but it doesn't taste bad. The taste is not bad. I just like a little bit drier of a finish. So should we be rating these? I will give New Zealand Jason, I'll give you i I'll give you a 7.7. .7. All right. And then the Wander and found Pinot Noir, I'll give you a I'll give you a six. I'll give you a six. You're not terrible. I'm not good at rating things. I feel like I'm always second guessing my rating. Next up, we have this one. It's called Lotus, or is that an S? Is this Sawdus or Lotus? De-alcoholized Savvy Red. Is that an S or an L? Cause that looks like a... See, I know that the initials S and L. In cursive, that's, that's looking a little bit you don't care about that. You don't care about that. Um, okay, it says, Lotus, pure, elegant, and sumptuous. Product of South Africa does not tell us the notes. Mm. This is giving Robitussin. <laughs> Which, that has alcohol in it, doesn't it? Or no? I don't even know. It smells like Robitussin, though. If you're into that. What's that one? Fuck a Robitussin. You know the one? You know the one? Alright. I can't even imagine how ugly of a face I just made. Zero. Zero points for Lotus. Ugh. Savvy Red? Nothing about this is savvy. That is, no. That is not good. Smells, it doesn't taste like Robitussin. Smells like Robitussin, tastes just not, not good. Just like, not good. Just trust me, it's not good. Sorry, Lotus, maybe your other flavors are better, but the Savvy Red? is not doing it for me. All right, so the last red we have is called Yours Alcohol Removed Wine Red Blend from California. On the back, it says, Yours Non-Alcoholic Wine combines real alcohol removed wine with natural flavors to provide you that rich wine experience you love just without the alcohol. Hmm. 
You're really trying to convince me. So we'll see. Let's give her a go. Again, it smells a little fruity. Heavy on the berry. Am I sensing a blackberry perhaps? Or a blueberry? It smells good. No. No. It's giving a touch of vinegar. Like it's got this sourness that I'm not loving. What's interesting is it, they don't smell like how they taste and vice versa. Like this smells like it could be good, but it tastes like balsamic vinegar in a way. No, uh, I would give you like a four. Rose, what do you think? Rose, would you like to sniff it? She's like, don't give me that fake shit. So now let's switch it up and we're gonna try the most affordable option. The others are like $15 and upwards, I believe. The crazy thing about non-alcoholic wine is it costs just as much, if not more, than your typical weekly night bottle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand that. Like, you want me to pay that much for juice? I'm trying, I'm trying, okay? Uh, so let's give this one a go. This was like $4, sparkling, non-alcoholic rosé. I don't really typically love sparkling wine, but we will try anything, right? Is this gonna pop? Is this like champagne? I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm so nervous. <sighs> Let me get my gripper. Maybe we won't be trying it. <laughs> This can't be meant for pregnant people or children. They would never be able to open it. <laughs> Good thing you can't see my face because I'm just like. So we're not off to a great start. I'm a little upset. Um, this one, I believe, has the most sugar compared to all the others. The, all the others had like five-ish grams, I believe. Yeah, and this has 18, 19, 19 grams. So... A little bit sugary. Let's see how she tastes. Mm, mm. Smells like grape soda. That is grape soda. Do not. This is for a child. This is for a child. Or if you like sweet things, if you like grape soda, just buy this for four four ninety nine. Okay. See, I had a reason to hate on Welch's. I had a reason. And I just knew. 19 grams of sugar. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna try the sprite. Let's try the sprite. She's not bad. I mean she's sprite, but she has a little festive quality to her. And she's not trying to be anything that she isn't. Like she's not trying to be a wine. She's just trying to be um, a Sprite. That would be good. Let's try it with my go-to. Okay, so I've said this a bunch on Instagram, but my addiction kind of during pregnancy has been apple cider. And when I've been going out, out, I mean like to dinner, I'll get apple cider with a splash of club soda. So maybe let's add the apple cider in. We can have a spice. Cider mocktail, maybe? The thing is about apple cider, though, is that it's pretty sweet to begin with, so you don't really need it. Also, Beacon Skiff, I don't know if this is available worldwide, but I do not like store brand apple cider. It is not good, so make sure you get one that's like from your local um, apple orchard. Not bad. Adds a little touch of cranberry. I don't hate it. I don't like sparkling cider. I only like apple cider with a touch of sparkling water or seltzer or something in it. I don't know what it is, but if you are pregnant and you've been craving something, maybe give apple cider a try. Overall, this was not a huge success, but Jason, I think this is a brand to watch out for. Um, 
it's hard to find non-alcoholic wines in person, especially like where I live. Um, I don't know how it is in different states, but in New York, they don't sell wine in grocery stores or targets or anything like that so therefore they don't sell na options there either so it's just kind of hard to find and um i feel like online has been the most options for me so i'm gonna wrap up the video i have a factor meal to eat like i said chef stuff is not she's not in the kitchen tonight she's out um but the main reason is because a i'm tired and b tommy has dart night yeah he plays on a dartly weird i know um but he is playing darts so whenever he doesn't like come home for dinner i'm not making dinner like i'm not making a full-on meal just for me and my baby but i just no why would i go to so much trouble when i could just eat one of my factor meals so i'm gonna grab one they're sponsoring today's video but you guys know i'm a fan so let me grab mine Oh, I already know which one I want. I already know. Okay, so. Ooh, that sounds good too. So it's definitely gonna be between these two. Uh, we have the loaded bacon spinach shredded chicken with roasted Brussels sprouts and ranch sour cream. That sounds amazing, right? Or we have the shredded chicken vodka pasta with spicy garlic broccoli so those both sound super good i'm not sure which i'm gonna have but i am a big fan of theirs if you haven't seen my videos with them they have fresh never frozen meals they deliver them straight to your door you don't have to worry about going to the grocery store you don't have to worry about meal like prepping it's all ready to go for you I just pop it in the microwave for two minutes and then boom you have a nice meal and they actually taste good um, a lot of the like pre-made meals are just they don't taste fresh these taste good um highly would recommend especially now that we're like during the holiday season i find myself like if we have like stuff going on i'm like i don't want to run to the grocery store i don't want to you know think about what to make for dinner everyone has busy schedules i feel like during the holidays meals get kind of weird and you don't want to always be ordering out because you know it's not that healthy or it just gets really expensive so that's why i love having my factory meals just in the fridge so i don't have to worry about that and especially now that i'm pregnant i can't just be like oh i'm not gonna really eat much for dinner tonight like i have to really be eating and you know supporting this growing baby inside of me so i have to make sure you know I'm eating pretty healthy and they have really good options they have keto they have ones with more protein and they have smoothies all sorts of stuff so definitely would recommend i'm gonna pop mine in the microwave there's my coffee from this morning. And as always, I have a code for you guys. If you're interested, you can go to go.factor75.com slash stefflata60 and use my code stefflata60 to get 60% off your first factor box. So, great deal. So I ended up going with the vodka pasta and the broccoli. So I'm going to eat this. I also need to take my uh, prenatal vitamins. I'll grab them and show them to you guys. Um, but if I don't eat them with food at nighttime, I get really sick. I don't know what it is. I tried taking them earlier in the day, but I just, I can't stomach it. So let me grab those and I'll show you guys. But uh, yeah, thank you Factor for sponsoring today's video once again. So if anyone was wondering, these are the prenatals I've been taking. They have different ones for each um, trimester. They're not sponsoring me and, you know, I pay for these myself. I just really like them. They have the prenatal. They have the omega, DHA, EPA, calcium, and magnesium. The first trimester ones have, like, ginger and, like, B something that's for morning sickness. So I thought those were great. I never had morning sickness, so I don't have, I don't know if I had anything to do with that. Um, but these have been nice. And I also do take a fish oil just one of these i was taking these before pregnancy so even though this does have the omega or whatever in it um, i didn't want to be taking less than i was previously so i just take one of these um, from alani the fish oil capsules and yeah obviously do whatever your doctor says but this is what i've been taking